Hello everyone and in this video we will be discussing about the eruption sequence in primary dentition that is we will be discussing about the patterns in which the uh, teeth in the primary dentition erupts and at what is the teeth of the primary dentition usually erupts and this video has been divided into two sections so moving on to the first part that is eruption sequence of teeth in each jaw that is in the maxilla and the mandible although uh, the teeth in maxilla and mandible erupts at different rates or different A's that is for example uh, if we look about the central incisors in maxilla and mandible the maxillary central incisors erupts later than that of the mandibular central incisors which is about two months late that is the maxillary central incisor usually erupts at the age of eight months while the mandibular central incisors erupts at the age of six months so there is difference in uh, eruption time between the maxillary teeth and its mandibular counterpart although there is difference in the eruption time between the maxilla and mandible the sequence of eruption while you look in individual arch is the same for example if you look in the upper teeth there is first eruption of central incisors at about 8 to 12 months of age and which is then followed by the lateral incisors at the age of 9 to 13 and then instead of the canine the first molar erupts faster that is about 13 to 19 months of age then this is followed by the eruption of the canine which is uh, usually occurs about 16 to 22 months of age and finally the second molar which is the last to erupt in each jaw that is about 25 to 33 months so if you look in the mandibular teeth it is the same pattern an easier way to remember the eruption sequence in each jaw uh, is to know the palmar system of the tooth numbering in deciduous dentition a palmar system uses first five alphabets that is a b c d and e to denote the teeth a is, a is for the central incisor b is for the lateral incisor c is for the canine and d is for the first molar and e is for the second molar these are all the deciduous dentitions so as we already know that the first molar erupts prior to the canine so the there is interchange in position between c and d so the eruption sequence now becomes a b first d c and e so in this way it is easier to know the eruption sequence in each jaw that is a b d c and e now moving on to the next segment of this video that is the overall eruption sequence so what we know is that um, when the teeth erupts in deciduous dentition there is no rule that first the mandibular teeth erupts then the maxillary teeth erupts it does not occur that way there is mixed eruption between maxillary and mandible teeth for example the first tooth to erupt in the oral cavity is the mandibular central incisor and the second tooth to erupt is not the mandibular lateral incisor instead it is maxillary central incisor which erupts around eight months of age so the overall eruption sequence in the oral cavity is mixed for this uh, an easier way to remember is that as we all know on each side there are 10 teeth so we'll write 10 numbers 1 to 10 and first we'll write mandibular the last two erupt will be the maxillary then we'll alternate between mandible and maxilla that is if there is mandibular teeth then the second teeth to erupt is the maxillary teeth and in third teeth to erupt instead of mandible there is again eruption of another maxillary teeth uh, this is like an exception in this rule similarly in the last two teeth uh, here is maxillary teeth so the ninth teeth would be the mandibular teeth and instead of maxilla here similar to second and third there is also eruption of another mandibular teeth and besides this there is alternate in eruption between maxillary and mandibular teeth fourth tooth to erupt will be the mandibular which is then followed by maxillary teeth 
mandibular teeth and seventh teeth to erupt will be the maxillary teeth what are these teeth so we'll simply um, so as discussed earlier there is first eruption of the central incisors we will write the central incisors in both maxilla and mandible and there is there are two lateral incisors so maxillary and mandibular lateral incisors and instead of canine as we already know that first molar erupts faster that is maxillary first molar and mandibular first molar which is then followed by maxillary canine mandibular canine and mandibular second molar and finally the maxillary second molar and these are the eruption time of each tooth so another way of memorizing the eruption sequence is what we call the nxi method that is let's write the tooth in the palmar system these are for the maxillary teeth and these are for the mandibular teeth so we'll take the range of eruptions of our each tooth which will be so there is a pattern of eruption which is this pattern is called as an xi for example first there is eruptions of the mandibular central incisors which is then followed by the maxillary central incisors then there is lateral incisors in the maxilla followed by the lateral incisors in the mandible so there is n pattern of eruption then it is followed by the eruptions of the maxillary first molar and followed by the mandibular first molar which is then followed by maxillary canine and the mandibular canine so there is x like pattern for the eruptions of the canine and the first molar and after this the tooth to erupt is the mandibular second molar and finally the maxillary second molar so this this structure resembles the eye and this is called as the nxi method it makes uh, it easier to memorize the eruption pattern central incisors teeth is first erupt which is occurs about six months and uh, followed by the maxillary central incisors that occurs about eight months there is a gap of two months between the eruption of first and the second teeth that is the central incisors in the mandible and the maxilla this two month gap is also present in the eruption of the second molar between maxilla and mandible earlier always being the lower teeth and besides this there is gap of only about one month in the anterior teeth for example um, there is a gap of one month between the eruption of the maxillary central incisors and the lateral incisors that is eight months nine months which is followed by the ten month similarly uh, after this the teeth that erupts are the first molar so there is also a gap of only one month bit there is 13 month for the maxillary first molar and 14 month for the mandibular first molar and similar is in the case of the maxillary canine and the mandibular canine which is about 16 and 17 so 6 8 9 10 13 14 16 17 and 23 and 25 so this was about the nxi method for memorizing the eruption pattern as well as the eruption time for the deciduous dentitions there is an another rule which we call it as a 7 plus 4 rule according to this uh, rule at 7 month of age there is eruption of the first teeth first teeth to erupt which is of course the mandibular central incisor when the child reaches 7 plus 4 that is about 11 month of age there will be four teeth in oral cavity and again we add 4 to 11 that is about 15 month of age the child will have 4 plus 4 that is 8 teeth in the oral cavity so we keep on adding 4 on both the side until we reach 20 teeth that is 19 month of age when the child reaches 19 month of age the child will have 12 teeth in the oral cavity 
similarly when the child reaches 23 months of age the child will have 16 teeth in the oral cavity finally around 27 month the child is expected to have complete sets of primary dentitions that is 16 plus 4 equals to 20 teeth in the oral cavity so this was about the eruption sequence in the deciduous tooth i hope it's easier for you to remember the eruption sequence and eruption time of the deciduous tooth i'll be making a separate video for the permanent teeth as well so if you like this video you know what to do that is give a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't already subscribed and comment down if you have any suggestions for the upcoming videos and do share these videos with as much as people as you can so thank you so much for listening i'll see you in the next video thank you